Abruzzo, Wikipedia article audio. Abruzzo is a region of Italy in southern Italy, with an area of 10,763 square km and a population of 1.2 million. Its western border lies 80 km east of Rome. The region is divided into the four provinces of L'Aquila, Teramo, Pescara, and Chieti. Abruzzo borders the region of March to the north, Lazio to the west and southwest, Molise to the southeast, and the Adriatic Sea to the east. Geographically, Abruzzo is divided into a mountainous area to the west, which includes the Gran Sasso d'Italia, and a coastal area to the east with beaches on the Adriatic Sea. Abruzzo is considered culturally, linguistically, historically, and economically a region of southern Italy, although geographically it may also be considered central. The Italian Statistical Authority deems it to be part of southern Italy, partially because of Abruzzo's historic association with the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies. Abruzzo is known as the greenest region in Europe as one third of its territory the largest in Europe, is set aside as national parks and protected nature reserves, there are three national parks, one regional park, and 38 protected nature reserves. These ensure the survival of 75% of Europe's living species including rare species, such as the small wading dotterel, golden eagle, the abruzzo chamois, apennine wolf, and Mars icon brown bear. Abruzzo is also home to Calderone, Europe's southernmost glacier. Provinces and Politics Provinces Visiting 19th century Italian diplomat and journalist Primo Levi said that Forte e Gentile best describes the beauty of the region and the character of its people. Forte e Gentile has since become the motto of the region and its inhabitants. Abruzzo is divided into four administrative provinces. Humans have inhabited Abruzzo since Neolithic times. A skeleton from Lama Dei Polini in the province of Chieti has been radiometrically dated to 6540 BP. The name Abruzzo appears to derive from the Latin Abrucium, although in Roman times the region was known at various times as Punum. Sabina et Samnium, Flaminia et Punum and Campania et Samnium. This region was known as Aprusium in the Middle Ages arising from four possible sources, it is a corruption of Pretudium, or rather of the name of the people Pretutai, applied to their chief city, Interamnes, the old Teramo. Until 1963 it was part of the Abruzzi region with Molise. The term Abruzzi derives from the time when the region was part of the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies and the territory was administered as Abruzzo Citerior and Abruzzo Ulterior I and II, that being nearer and farther from Naples, the capital of the kingdom. Abruzzo Citerior is present-day Chieti province. Abruzzo Ulterior I comprised the Teramo and Pescara provinces, Abruzzo Ulterior II is now the province of L'Aquila. In this province is found the city of Corfigno, the chief city of the Pialini, 7 mn of Sulmona in the valley of the Adernus. The site of the original town is occupied by the village of Pentama. It probably became subject to Rome in the 4th century BC, though it does not appear in Roman history before the Social War, in which it was at first adopted by the Allies as the capital and seat of government. It appears also as a fortress of importance in the Civil War, though it resisted Caesar's attack for a week. These people were honored by Caesar as citizens of Rome. It is said that the name Italia came from this region because of ancient coins that have been found here that date from about the 1st century BC. These coins have the name Italia on them and are apparently proof of this fact. 
This theory of the origin of the name Italia is debated by scholars, archaeologists, and history itself. There is much consensus however that the name Italia was originally given to the region of modern Calabria by the ancient Greeks during their foundation of Magna Graecia in southern Italy around the 8th century BC. It is also said by the Italian government that Calabria was once called Italia by the ancient Greeks in honor of its inhabitants who were known as the Itali. This occurred hundreds of years before the coins of Corfanio were apparently minted. The late archaeologist Massimo Politino also claimed that the name was derived from the Italic tribes that settled in modern Calabria. But it was not until the time of the Roman conquests that the term was expanded to cover the entire peninsula. Geographically, Abruzzo is located in central Italy and southern Italy, stretching from the heart of the Apennines to the Adriatic Sea, and includes mainly mountainous and wild land. The mountainous inland is occupied by a vast plateau including Gran Sasso, at 2,912 metres the highest peak of the Apennines, and Mount Magella 2,793 metres. The Adriatic coastline is characterised by long sandy beaches to the north and pebbly beaches to the south. Abruzzo is well known for its landscapes and natural beauties, parks and nature reserves characteristic hillside areas rich in vineyards and olive groves, and one of the highest densities of blue flag beaches. Politics The Abruzzo region has two types of climate that are strongly influenced by the Apennine Mountains, dividing the climate of the coastal and sub-Apennine hills from the interior's high mountain ranges. Coastal areas have a Mediterranean climate with hot dry summers and mild winters and rainy hills with a sublittoral climate where temperatures progressively decrease with increasing altitude and precipitation with altitude. Precipitation is also strongly affected by the presence of the Apennines mountain ridges of the region increases with the proportion being more abundant in the field and on the slopes exposed to the west instead of decreasing towards the east and east-facing slopes. Often the Adriatic coast are sidelined rainfall from the west to the barrier effect of the Apennines undergoing the action of gentle winds descending from it. The minimum annual rainfall, however, are found in some inland valleys, sheltered from much disturbance to the blocking action of mountain ridges, such as the Polygna Valley or the valley of the river Durino, which in some places showed barely 500 mm, and not along the coast where it never falls below 600 mm, for if Teramo is relatively little watered by rain, the meter is exceeded in Chieti, reaching maximum levels in the Adriatic, while between Ortona and Vasto in Costa Dei. Trabaki decrease again. The highest rainfall occurs in upland areas on the border with Lazio, they are especially vulnerable to Atlantic disturbances. Around 1,500 to 2,000 mm of precipitation is typical. As with many Mediterranean regions, Abruzzo's vegetation is characterized by the presence of different Mediterranean ecosystems. The coast and the surrounding areas are characterized by the presence of typical plants of Mediterranean shrubland, such as myrtle, heather, and mastic, while in the hilly areas other species grow, including olive, pine, willow, oak, poplar, alder, arbutus, broom, acacia, capers, rosemary, hawthorn, licorice and almond trees interspersed with oak trees. At elevations between 600 and 1000 meters there is submontane vegetation, mainly characterized by mixed forests of oak and turkey oak, maple and hornbeam, shrubs include dog rose and red juniper. Elevations between 1000 and 1900 meters are dominated by beech trees. 
In the Apennine Mountains at elevations above 2,000 meters species include alpine orchid, mountain juniper, silver fir, black cranberry and the Abruzzo edelweiss. History The fauna of Abruzzo is highly varied, including the region's symbol, the Abruzzo chamois, which has recovered after risking extinction. Another animal typical of this region is the Mars icon brown bear, along with Italian wolf, deer, lynx, roe deer, snow vole, fox, porcupine, wild cat, wild boar, badger, otter, and viper. The natural parks of the region include the Abruzzo National Park, the Gran Sasso and Monte della Laga National Park, the Mayula National Park and the Sirent Valino Regional Park as well as numerous others natural reserves and protected areas. Until a few decades ago, Abruzzo was a region of poverty in southern Italy, over the past decades, however, it has developed to such an extent that it has escaped from the spiral of underdevelopment to become the first region of the Italian Mezzogiorno. This confirms its pivotal role in the national economic system. Since the 1950s, Abruzzo has had steady economic growth. In 1951, Abruzzo per capita income or GDP was 53% of that of northern Italy, the nation's richest region. By 1971, Abruzzo was at 65% and, by 1994, per capita income was at 76% of Northern Italy's per capita income, giving Abruzzo the highest per capita GDP of Southern Italy and surpassing the growth of every other region of Italy. The construction of superhighways from Rome to Teramo and Rome to Pescara opened Abruzzo to easy access, state and private investment in the region increased and Abruzzo attained higher per capita education levels and greater productivity growth than the rest of the South. As of 2003, Abruzzo's per capita GDP was €19,506 or 84% of the national average of €23,181 and well outpacing that of the South. The region's average GDP per capita was approximately €20,100. Geography The 2009 L'Aquila earthquake led to a sharp economic slowdown. However, according to statistics at the end of 2010, it seems that the economy of Abruzzo is recovering, despite the negative data regarding employment. In fact, at the end of 2010, Abruzzo's growth was 1.47%, which placed it fourth among the Italian regions with the highest annual growth rates after Lazio, Lombardy, and Calabria. In 2011 Abruzzo's economic growth was plus 2.3%, the highest percentage among the regions of southern Italy. The region is also the richest region of southern Italy with the GDP per capita higher than any other region of southern Italy. Climate Abruzzo's industrial sector expanded rapidly, especially in mechanical engineering, transportation equipment, and telecommunications. The structure of production in the region reflects the transformation of the economy from agriculture to industry and services. Although industry has developed strongly, it retains weak points due to the existence of only a few large businesses alongside a huge fabric of small and medium-sized businesses. Both pure and applied research are carried out in the region, where there are major institutes and factories involved in research in the fields of pharmaceutics, biomedicine, electronics, aerospace, and nuclear physics. The industrial infrastructure is spread throughout the region in industrial zones which have already been mentioned, the most important of which are Val Pescara, Val Sangro, Val Trigno, Val Vibrata, and Conca del Fusino. 
A further activity worthy of note is seaside and mountain tourism, which is of considerable importance to the economy of the region. Agriculture, involving small holdings, has succeeded in modernizing and offering high-quality products. The mostly small, agricultural holdings produce wine, cereals, sugar beet, potatoes, olives, vegetables, fruit and dairy products. Traditional products are saffron and licorice. Most famous in the world is Abruzzo's wine Monte Pulciano d'Abruzzo. In the late 20th and early 21st century, Monte Pulciano d'Abruzzo earned a reputation as being one of the most widely exported dock classed wine in Italy. Flora and Fauna In the past decade, tourism has increased in particular concerning internal and European arrivals. Abruzzo is world famous for his wildlife parks and regional park and 38 protected areas between oasis, regional reserves and state reserves and also in the inland mountainous region has several ski resorts equipped, also coastal tourism and resort is very developed, in particular be mentioned the Trabaki coast a very picturesque stretch of coastline known for the ancient fishing machines that can still be seen by tourists. Abruzzo's wealth of castles and medieval towns, especially around the town of L'Aquila, has earned it in some quarters the nickname of Abruzzo Shire, by analogy with the Chianta Shire, nickname sometimes used to refer to the Chianti area of Tuscany but Abruzzo is still off the beaten path for most visitors to Italy. Although the population density of Abruzzo has increased over the last decades, it is still well below the Italian national average, in 2008, 123.4 inhabitants per km2, compared to 198.8. At the province level, the density is varied. As of 2008 Pescara is the most densely populated with 260.1 inhabitants per km2, whereas L'Aquila is the least densely populated with 61.3 inhabitants per km2, although it has the largest area. After decades of emigration from the region, the main feature of the 1980s is the immigration from third world countries. The population increase is due to the positive net migration, as since 1991 more deaths than births were registered in Abruzzo. In 2008, the Italian National Institute of Statistics Istat estimated that 59,749 foreign-born immigrants live in Abruzzo, equal to 4.5% of the total regional population. Economy. The most serious demographic imbalance is between the mountainous areas of the interior and the coastal strip. The largest province, L'Aquila, is situated entirely in the interior and has the lowest population density. The movement of the population of Abruzzo from the mountains to the sea has led to the almost complete urbanization of the entire coastal strip especially in the province of Teramo and Chieti. The effects on the interior have been impoverishment and a demographic aging, reflected by an activity rate in the province of L'Aquila which is the lowest of the provinces in Abruzzo accompanied by geological degradation as a result of the absence of conservation measures. In the coastal strip, on the other hand, there is such a jumble of accommodation and activities that the environment has been changed with negative effects. The policy of providing incentives for development has resulted in the setting up of industrial zones, some of which have made genuine progress, while others have run into trouble after initial success. The zones of Sulmona and Guardiagral have turned out to be more or less failures. Outside these zones, the main activities are agriculture and tourism. L'Aquila is both the capital city of the Abruzzo region and of the province of L'Aquila and second largest city. 
L'Aquila was hit by an earthquake on April 6, 2009 which destroyed much of the city center. The other provincial capitals are Pescara, which is Abruzzo's largest city and major port, Teramo and Chieti. Other large municipalities in Abruzzo include Avezzano, an industrial and high-technology center, Vasto, Lanciano, and Sulmona are three important industrial and touristic centers. There are four main ports in Abruzzo, Pescara, Ortona, Vasto, and Giulianova. Over the years the port of Pescara became one of the most important tourist ports of Italy and the Adriatic Sea. Heavily damaged in World War II, it underwent some 60 years of major restoration and was reborn as a modern marina with advanced moorings and shipbuilding facilities. It has been honored with the European Union's blue flag for the quality of services offered. The port of Pescara has lost passenger traffic because of its shallowness and silting, but its fishery and aquaculture activities are thriving. There is a significant disparity between the railways of the Abruzzo coast and the inland areas, which badly need modernization to improve the service, in particular the Rome, Pescara line. Some services have schedules similar to those of a century ago. The situation is so bad that often it is faster to travel by road, normally bus. Demographics Existing railway lines Main settlements Road and motorway networks in the Abruzzo region are relatively well developed, there are three highways that serve the region. Adriatic Railway, the question that interests the Abruzzo region is included in the towns of Martinsicuro and San Salvo. Unless, that delimit the borders with March and Malize regions namely, the 113 km between the stations of intercurrent Alba Adriatica, Narito, Contraguera and San Salvo. The interchanges are made by the respective railway lines Giulianova Teramo and Pescara, Rome, Train Rome Sulmona Pescara, Pescara, Rome railway line is along the railway line Bologna. Bari on the Adriatic Sea other line is important because through the Dirinian coast, passing through the provinces of Pescara, Chieti, and L'Aquila and ends the path to Roma Tibertina railway station. The railway, which covers the Abruzzo region, extends for 170 kilometers, ranging from municipalities to the province of Pescara Carsoli, Oricola, and Pertu. The infrastructure in question is the following interchanges, Sulmona, Isernia, Terni Sulmona, Avezzano, Rocca Secca, Bologna, and Bari, Sulmona Carpinun. The infrastructure in question is a continuation to the south of Terni, Sulmona, as part of the intermediate cross Pescara Naples. After that Brenner is the highest railway station in Italy whose tortuous path, characterized by steep slopes, passing through the station Rivasondoli, Pesca Costanzo and wedges in the Abruzzo National Park and the Mayula. The line is the interchanges of railway lines Rome, Pescara and Sulmona L'Aquila Rieti Terni. Reached Carpinun, divides west to east to Benevento and Caserta, Sulmona Terni Railway. Trafficking in question connects the regions of Umbria, Lazio, Abruzzo, and Molise and then along the line Carpina and Sulmona. It therefore crosses the inner Abruzzo, finding interchanges Avezzano and Pescara, Rome, Rocca Secca, in their respective provinces of L'Aquila, Terni, and Rieti. It concerns a type of regional traffic in that, Across the Tyrrhenian perpendicular colleague Abruzzo, Umbria, Lazio, and Molise. The question of interest is included in the Abruzzo town of Sulmona and Tornimpart, and more precisely in the station's 75 km intercurrent Sulmona and Saddle Horn, 
Avetsino Railroad Rakaseka, infrastructure test starts on the track in the town of Avetsino, crosses the territory of Marsika, passes through the valley and bush get into the Lazio region, in the town of Sora. Her journey ends in the town of Rakaseka which marks the end of Lazio and the entry in the Campania region towards Casino. Therefore, the only online exchange that meets the railway line is Pescara Rome Station Avetsino, Giulianova Teramo Railway Line Giulianova Teramo, the network is complementary to the Adriatic, fulfilling a liaison function between the capital and the coast. Therefore, the only rail interchange is characterized by the Adriatic Railway Line Bologna-Bari, Abruzzo is Martin Sicuro Rail Broad San Salvo. With its 24 km journey infrastructure is the result, a SS80 along the path to the location of the industrial districts of Teramo, before merging the SS16 that accesses the Port Giulianova, Sangritana. The infrastructure in question are an important transition between the Dirinian and Adriatic Sea, as in Pescara station meets the respective points of connection of the FS Bologna Bari and Pescara Rome, while that of Sulmona, L'Aquila lines FS Terni and Sulmona Carpinun. This position transition, attributed to the infrastructure an important strategic military role in World War II, a stage when the bombing of the German armed forces air, marked the temporary suspension of the subject line of repair work. Like other regional railways direct L'Aquila, Sulmona and Rakaseka, through a circuitous route mountain typically characterized by steep slopes, although in terms of localization of production facilities is to signal the passage of the railway in the industrial area of Valle del Sangro. Numerous infrastructure connecting adjacent junction as directional Torino it branches in the A25 to Pescara, Teramo to Giulianova on SS80, SS81 to Chiedi and on the A14 Bologna, Taranto, exit on the freeway Rieti Valley Jump, Terni, exit west on SS80 to L'Aquila, Teramo, near Tivoli, and the connection to the A1 motorway allows easy connections with Naples and Milan, the highway construction has contributed greatly to the economic development of the region. The most important museum is Museo Archeologico Nazionale d'Abruzzo in Chiedi housing the famed warrior statue warrior of Capestrano found in a necropolis from 6th century BC. Of cultural importance are the Cathedral of Teramo, its archaeological museum and the Roman theatre, the Castello della Monica, the astronomical observatory, the famous L'Aquila Basilica of Santa Maria di Colemaggio with the remains of Pope Celestine V, the Museo Nazionale d'Abruzzo, Santa Maria del Suffragio, the Forte Spagnolo, the 99 Spouts Fountain, Gabriel D'Annunzio's house in Pescara, Campli S. Scala Sancta and its church, the Church of Santa Sima Annunziata in Sulmona, the cathedrals of Chiedi, Lanciano, Gardiagrol, Atri, and Pescara along with the castles of Ortona, Celano and Ortuccio. Highway A24 Rome L'Aquila Teramo was built in the 70s and connects Rome with Lazio and more specifically to the Abruzzo Teramo via L'Aquila, performs an important liaison function of the region, both Tyrrhenian to the Adriatic, due to the presence of several knots of connection roads and highways. The Grand Sasso Tunnel, the longest road tunnel entirely on Italian territory, was opened in 1984. It connects L'Aquila and Teramo on the A24 making the northern Abruzzo coast reachable within two hours from Rome. At L'Aquila S. Santa Maria di Colemaggio every 28-29 August is celebrated the Pertinenza Celestin Iana, remembering the Indulgentia, issued by Pope Celestine V to any who, 
truly repentant and confessed would visit that church from the Vespers of the Vigil to the Vespers of August 29th. Sulmona's Holy Week is commemorated with big traditional celebrations and rituals, such as La Madonna Che Scappa in Piazza, where a huge statue of the Madonna, carried by a group of Sulmanisi part of confraternities, runs through the square towards her son resurrected. At Cocolo, in the province of L'Aquila, is yearly held the Festa Dei Sir Perry in which the patron saint's statue covered by snakes is transported in a procession, it attracts thousands of both Italian and foreign visitors. In many Abruzzo villages in January is celebrated the Anthony the Great's feast with massive and scenic bonfires. In the past, the region of Abruzzo was well known for the Transumanza, the migratory movement of sheep principally south to the region of Puglia during the cold winter months. The Feast of St. Biagio, the protector of the throat and of wool dealers, is the most widespread in Abruzzo. One of the most interesting and engaging rites takes place on February 3 in Toronto Poligna where every year since the 16th century an evocative ritual is carried out, entailing the distribution of ponitzella, that are small loaves, made of flour and water, in the shape of a blessing hand, which are distributed to the faithful. Between the province of Teramo and L'Aquila, under the Gran Sasso Tunnel are found the Laboratori Nazionale del Gran Sasso of the INFN, one of the three underground astroparticle laboratories in Europe. In Teramnia World Cup the largest international youth handball competition worldwide takes place on a yearly basis in Teramo. It will reach its 42nd edition in July 2014. Transport Airports Ports Railways Amongst Abruzzo historical people there are the Roman orator Asinius Pollio, Latin poets Sallust and Ovid who were born in L'Aquila and Sulmona respectively, Gaius Cassius Longinus a Roman senator and a leading instigator of the plot to kill Julius Caesar and Pontius Pilate who was born in the province of Teramo and is best known for authorizing the crucifixion of Jesus. Abruzzo religious personalities include Saint Berardo, John of Capistrano who led a crusade against the Ottoman Empire, Thomas of Celano author of three hagiographies about Saint Francis of Assisi, Alessandro Valignano who introduced Catholicism to the Far East and Japan, the Polish Pope John Paul II loved the mountains of Abruzzo where he would retire often and pray in the church of San Pietro della Enca. When he died Cardinal Stanislaw Jewis, gave the local Abruzzo community of some of the late pontiff's blood as a token of the love he had felt for the mountainous area. The great East Italian poet of the 20th century Gabriel D'Annunzio was from Pescara, other very important Abruzzo personalities in the field of humanities include poet Ignazio Siloni, director Ennio Flaiano who co wrote La Dolce Vita, philosopher Benedetto Croce, composer Sir Paolo Tosti and the sculptor Venanzo Crocetti. Highway A25 Torino Avezzano Pescara allows the connection between Rome and Pescara as of the release of Torino begins its journey where it intersects with the A24, flows in the Conca del Fusino exceeds the Abruzzo Apennines coming to Poligna Valley and ends at exit Pescara Villanova to join the A14, motorway A14 Bologna Taranto said the A14 Adriatica includes 743 km of route including the cities of Bologna and Taranto. Inaugurated in 1965 is now a major tourist infrastructure, as through the coastal towns of Emilia-Romagna, March, Abruzzo, Molise, and Puglia. Abruzzo is the infrastructure in question, including the toll of South Broad and Val Vibrata, which mark the border with the March and Molise. Regarding the links, 
the A14 meets the SS16 and the SS652 bottom Sangro Valley near Broad and SS80 in Julianova. American artists and celebrities such as Madonna, Michael Bublé, Dean Martin, Bradley Cooper, Perry Como, Henry Mancini, Nancy Pelosi, Rocky Marciano, Rocky Mattioli, Bruno Sammartino, Mario Batali, John, and Dan Fanti, Tommy Lasorda, Dan Marino have publicly boasted their Abruzzo origins. Important international movies shot in Abruzzo include George Clooney's The American, Jean Jacques Arnault's The Name of the Rose, Fellini's La Strada and Ivitaloni, Schwarzenegger's Red Sonia, Lada Hawk, King David, Francesco, Chioma, The Barbarians, The Fox, and The Child and Krull. Abruzzo holds many of Italy's best preserved medieval and Renaissance hill towns that rival those in Umbria and Tuscany. Abruzzo boasts indeed 20 of the most beautiful villages in Italy, second only to Umbria which has 22. These awards are not just for aesthetic beauty but also are for art and culture, historical importance, and livability. The abrupt decline of Abruzzo's agricultural economy in the early to mid-20th century saved some of the region's most beautiful hill towns from the onslaught of modern development. Many lie entirely within regional and national parks. Among the most well-preserved are Castel del Monte and Santo Stefano di Sassanio which lie in the Gran Sasso National Park on the edge of the high plain of Campo Imperator and nestled beneath the Apennines' highest peaks, both hill towns, which were ruled by the Medici's for over a century and a half, have relatively little tourism. Between the two towns sits Rocca Colosseo, the ruin of an ancient fortress popular with filmmakers. Both Monte Ferrante and Roche Cascalegna are two best representing Abruzzo villages in the province of Chieti. Within the Gran Sasso National Park is also found Castelli, an ancient pottery centre whose artisans produced ceramics for most of the royal houses of Europe. Civitella del Tronto played a crucial role in the history of the unification of Italy. The fortress of Civitella is today the most visited monument in the whole Abruzzo region. Other medieval hill towns located fully within Abruzzo's park system are Pay Centro in the Mayala National Park and Pescaceroli in the Abruzzo National Park. Pay Centro, which features a 14th century castle with two intact towers, has been little touched by modernization. The Shrine of Gabriel of Our Lady of Sorrows, in the province of Teramo, with average of 2 million visitors per year is one of the 15 most visited sanctuaries in the world. Capestrano, a small characteristic town in the province of L'Aquila, is the hometown of St. John of Capestrano, Franciscan friar and Catholic priest as well as the namesake of the Franciscan Mission San Juan Capistrano in Southern California, the Mission Mission San Juan Capistrano and the city of San Juan Capistrano in Orange County. In the last 20 years, studies showed Julia was an example of Renaissance ideal city, following the experiment of Pienza, and the new theaching of Leon Battista Alberti and Francesco Di Giorgio Martini. It's thought the project was realized by Baccio Pontelli in a first time and the same Francesco di Giorgio Martini in a second, because of the bond between the founder of Giulia and the most important courts of the time. But these names has been retracted and studies are underway. University of L'Aquila, University G. D'Annunzio of Chieti and Pescara, University of Teramo. The proximity to Rome, the protected natural reserves and landscapes which award the region as the greenest in Europe, the presence of some of the most beautiful Italian villages, 
its rich and heterogeneous gastronomy along with a long history of deep-rooted local tradition and authentic Italian culture make Abruzzo rank fifth among the Italian regions by tourist arrivals after Calabria, March, Sardinia, and Trentino. In 2010, arrivals totaled 6,381,067 Italian and 925,884 foreign. In 2015, the American organization Live and Invest Overseas included Abruzzo in the list of world's top 21 overseas retirement havens. The study was based on such factors like climate, infrastructure, health care, safety, taxes, cost of living and more. There are three universities in the Abruzzo region. Highways Harvard University bases an intensive summer Italian language and culture program in Vasto, a resort town on Abruzzo's southern coast. The regional accents of Abruzzo include Terramano, Abruzzese Oriental Adriatico and Abruzzese Occidental. The first two form part of the dialect of southern Italy also known simply as Neapolitan due to the region having been part of the Kingdom of Naples and the two Sicilies, while the Italian of L'Aquila province is related to the Osco-Umbro dialect of central Italy, including the one of Rome. The dialects spoken in the Abruzzo region can be divided into three main groups. Renowned for its variety and richness due to the heterogeneity of its territory, Abruzzo's cuisine is among the best in Italy. In 2013 an Italian organization Confi Sorsenti survey of foreign tourists showed that Abruzzo is the best Italian region to eat in. Both the agricultural and coastal aspects of Abruzzo have contributed to its cuisine. Due to the mountains, much of Abruzzo was isolated from international influence until the 20th century. As a result, the region's cuisine remained unique. Culture Medieval and Renaissance Hill Towns Universities One of the most popular regional dishes is spaghetti alla chitara which is made by pressing or cutting pasta through a chitara an implement to form long thin noodles similar to spaghetti. The pasta is served with a tomato-based sauce, often flavored with peppers, pork, goose, or lamb. This dish is complemented by regional side dishes, such as the bean and noodle soup, sagni e fagioli. This soup is traditionally flavored with tomatoes, garlic, oil, and pepperoncini. Other popular dishes include Across the region, roast lamb is enjoyed in several variations. Some of these variations include Seafood is also popular, especially in coastal areas. The variety of fish available to the area has resulted in several fish-based brodetti, coming from such places as Vasto, Giulianova, and Pescara. These broths are often made by cooking fish, flavored with tomatoes, herbs, and pepperoncino, in an earthenware pot. Rustic pizzas are also very common. Some of these are. Also from Teramo are the spreadable sausages flavored with nutmeg, liver sausages tasting of garlic and spices. The ventricina from the Vasto area is made with large pieces of fat and lean pork, pressed and seasoned with powdered sweet peppers and fennel and all encased in the dehydrated stomach of the pig itself. Atri and Riva Sondali are famous for cheeses. Mozzarella, either fresh or seasoned, made from ewe's milk, although a great number of lesser-known varieties of these cheeses can be found all over Abruzzo and Molise. Dialects The sweets of Abruzzo are world-famous and include Best known is the extra-virgin olive oil produced in Colline Terramane, 
marked by the quality level DOP and considered one of the best in Italy. Renowned wines like Monte Polciano D.O.C.G. and Trebbiano d'Abruzzo Doc are judged to be amongst the world's finest. In 2012, a bottle of Trebbiano d'Abruzzo ranked number one in the top 50 Italian Wine Award. The region is also well known for the production of liquors such as Cent Urbi, Limoncello, Ratafia, and Genziana. Campo Imperator Abruzzo Chami San Vito Giettino Apollo Butterfly in Gran Sasso Lake Scano Mayula Massif Cuisine Popular dishes Ponte Sol Mare in Pescara Campo Felice Sweets Abruzzo Wild Boars Olive Oil Wines and Liquors Gallery Ortona Seaside Prati di Tivoski Slopes Monte Ferrante Rocca Colosseo Duomo of Teramo Chiedi L'Aquila 99 Spouts Fountain San Bernardino Basilica in L'Aquila L'Aquila Lanciano Basilica Church of S.S. Annunziata in Sulmona Sulmona Celano Casal Bordino Gardiagral Ortona Shrine of Gabriel of Our Lady of Sorrows Palazzo Savini in Teramo Coordinates 42 degree 2158 and 12 degree 2340 e 42.36611 degrees north 12.39444 degrees east slash 42.36611, 12.39444. Sabine dialect, in the province of L'Aquila, Abruzzo Adriatic dialect, in the province of Teramo, Pescara, and Chiedi that is virtually abandoned in the province of Ascoli Piccino, Abruzzo Western Dialect, in the province of L'Aquila. Naki Karate, flavored with bacon, eggs and pecorino cheese, script pal, a rustic French-style crepe served either mbousse or used to form a sort of souffle with some ragu and stuffed with chicken liver, meatballs, hard-boiled eggs, and cheese. Pastuccia, a polenta stew with sausage, eggs, and cheese. Aerostisani, a skewered lamb dish, pecora al cotero, lamb stuffed with a variety of mountain herbs and cooked in a copper pot, lamb cooked whole in a bread oven, agnello cacio e ovo, a lamb based fricassee. Easter pizza a rustic cake with cheese and pepper from the Teramo area, Fiadoni from Chiedi, dough of eggs and cheese well risen, cooked in the oven in a thin casing of pastry, a rustic tart pastry filled with everything imaginable, eggs, fresh cheeses, ricotta, vegetables, and all sorts of flavorings and spices. Confetti, sugar-coated almonds, from Sulmona. Torone Nerzia, a chocolate nougat from L'Aquila, Parizzo, a cake-like treat made from a mixture of crushed almonds, and coated in chocolate, Ferratelli. A wafer cookie, often flavored with anise, croc cant, a type of nougat made from almonds and caramelized sugar, often flavored with lemon. <laughs>